Nasruddin came across a bereft traveler at a crossroads, sitting disconsolately at the roadside with his baggage, and asked the sorry-looking soul what was bothering him. <sighs> Brother, sighed the man, there is not a single thing in life left for me. I have enough money to live comfortably, and I am traveling only because there is nothing of sufficient interest compelling me to stay home. I realize I seek happiness, but thus far into my long journey I have not found it. Happiness is not where you seek it, but where you find it, observed Nasruddin. Whatever do you mean? asked the stranger. Without a word or change of expression, Nasruddin seized the traveler's belongings and hightailed it down the road, with the man trailing behind, screaming at him to stop. Nasruddin outpaced him, and since he knew the shortcuts, was able to double back behind the man. As the mullah approached, he saw the traveler was once again sitting on the side of the road, his head in his hands, crying even more pitifully, more unhappy than before because of the loss of his luggage. Silently, he crept up behind the traveler, and placed the bags near him, and then moved to a concealed spot to observe. When the miserable man finished weeping and looked around, he couldn't believe his eyes. There was his baggage, waiting for him. Overjoyed, he ran to his property and grabbed the bags, embracing them to his chest. As the traveler danced and spun around, praising God for the return of his things, it seemed to Nasruddin he looked like an ecstatic dervish, whirling with a bag of laundry in each hand. At least, thought Nasruddin, satisfied with the outcome, he has discovered one way of producing happiness. Despite Fatima's complaints and pleas, Nasruddin was too busy with his mula work to keep up his property, so the house got quite dilapidated. The shutters were stuck shut, the windows didn't close or open properly and were drafty. The cellar was cluttered with junk and the back door had almost fallen off its hinges. One day, Nasruddin was walking home from Konya when he saw a large funeral procession. Several men carried the coffin, followed by mourners in black, and one gray-haired lady, supported by a man and a woman at each side, wailed inconsolably in grief. Carrying a candle, the imam walked in front and intoned, They, the beloved is going to where there is no light. They, the beloved is going to where there is no heat. They, the beloved is going to where there is no water. They, the beloved is going to where there is no air. They, the beloved is going to where there is no space at all. Terrified, Nasruddin took off through a shortcut back to his run-down house and arrived breathless from running. He chained and padlocked the front gate behind him then dashed into the house and frantically began to move furniture around to block the front door. Fatima asked, What in the world are you doing, Nasruddin? The mullah gasped to Fatima, Hurry! Go and bolt the back door! There is a funeral coming, and they are going to bury a dead man in our house! <laughs>